This was just stunning. Honestly, before the season 2023, nobody expected these crazy performances of Shakir Richardson. The 23-year-old athlete finally showed her amazing talent. In this video, we are looking at her incredible season. Shakari had a very tough season 2022. At the Grand Prix in New York, the track star raced her season best over 100 meters in solid 10.85 when she finished second behind Elia Hobbs. Sadly, at the US Nationals, she wasn't able to qualify herself over 100 meters and 200 meters for the World Championships on home soil in Eugene, Oregon. Another year where the highly talented Shakari wasn't able to represent her country on the international stage. Late in the season she showed her strongest race in Europe when she placed 5th in 10.93 at the Diamond League meet in Brussels, Belgium. On the 1st of April 2023, Richardson opened up her season at the Texas Relays. As the anchor leg she ran very solid and finished 2nd with her team in 42.10. Only one week later we saw one of the most amazing season openers of all time. At the Miramar Invitational in Florida, Shakir Richardson participated over 100 meters. In the heat she directly showed her amazing sprint speed. In the wind aided time of 10.75 she just dominated the race and everybody was excited to see if she's able to run even faster in the final. Shakari shocked the world in the second run and raced the wind aided time of 10.57. The American ran the second fastest wind aided 100 meter time in history. Only Florence Griffith Joyner ran faster in 1988 when she raced wind aided 10.54. If you don't know, in 1988 she also broke the world record over 100 meters in 10.49 wind legal. On the 29th of April, Richardson had a little setback at the Golden Grand Prix in Botswana. Over 200 meters the 23 year old got defeated by Kayla White. Shakari only raised a time of 22.54. The 5th of May was a very special day for the young American. At the Diamond League in Doha, we saw the first epic sprint battle of the season between the world champion over 200 meters Sharika Jackson and Shakir Richardson. Sharika started excellent and directly took the lead, but Shakari finished stronger and won in a sensational time of 10.76. The American track star won her first Diamond League meeting in her young career. Absolutely stunning. Two weeks later on the 14th of May, Richardson participated over 200 meters at the Kipkeno Classics in Nairobi, Kenya. This time she stormed across the finish line in 22.07, her second fastest 200 meter time in her career. Shakari didn't even finish strong, she just shocked and celebrated in the last meters of the race. Everybody knew that the American would be able to run sub 22 seconds easily. End of June Shakari tested her shape at the Grand Prix in Los Angeles. After a solid run in 10.90 in the first round, she scratched the final to a muscle cramp. Middle of June at the Star Athletics meeting in Monverde, Florida, Shakari proved again her impressive shape. In the final, the trackster just dominated in wind aided 10.73. Even when the time was wind assisted, we could all see that the 100 meter time on the 10.7 wind legal could be possible this season. At the US Nationals beginning of June, Shakari won over 100 meters in 10.82 and placed second behind Gabby Thomas over 200 meters in a new personal record of 21.94. The first time in her career the young sprint talent qualified herself for the World Championships in Budapest, Hungary. In the heat over 100 meters she even improved her personal record from 10.72 to 10.71. In the heat over 200 meters at the US Nationals, Shakari raced a crazy wind aided time of 21.61. After many years of struggling, Shakari Richardson will finally represent the US on the international stage. Only one week later Richardson just traveled to Europe again to compete over 100 meters in Silesia, Poland. Another amazing battle against her strongest competitor this season, Sharika Jackson. Sharika just raced her personal record at the Jamaican Nationals in outstanding 10.65. Actually we saw almost the same race like in Doha. Sharika started excellent but Shakari finished stronger and won in a close race in a time of 10.76. On the 18th of July, Shakari participated in her last competition before heading to the World Championships in Budapest. At the Athletic Grand Prix in Hungary, she lost over 100 meters against the college champion over 100 meters and 200 meters, Julian Alfred. Julian ran the time of 10.89. We were all excited to see the first race of Shakari Richardson over 100 meters at the World Championships. She just dominated in her first race in Budapest and shocked through the finish line in 10.92. In the semi-final, Shakai Richardson scraped into the Women's World Championship 100m final as the fastest loser after just recovering from a terrible start. Sharika Jackson and Marisha Zetalou both won in 
On the 21st of August, Richardson delivered the best wind legal time of her life in the 100m final at the World Championships. Championship record 10.65. Shakari earned the world's fastest woman title in her debut from lane 9, the farthest outside lane. In the race, she overtook Jamaican sprint legends Rebecca Jackson and Shelly Ann Fraser Price. Afterwards, Richardson said in an interview Never lose sight of your faith, always remember why you started. Over 200 meters, all favorites made the final. Many people expected a very close race. Actually, it was not close at all. Sharika Jackson stormed to the finish line in a new personal record of 21.41, four tenths of a second away from the second fastest Gabby Thomas. The 100 meter world champion Shakir Richardson finished third in a new personal record of 21.92. Sharika is only seven hundredths of a second away from the world record of Florence Griffith Joyner over 200 meters. We can be excited if the Jamaican powerhouse is able to break it next season. On the 26th of August we saw another epic fight for gold between the US team and Jamaica at the women's 4x1 relay race. The USA started with Tamari Davis, Tvanisha Terry, Gabriel Thomas and Shaq Richardson against the Jamaican team who competed with Natasha Morrison, Shelly Ann Fraser Price, Shasha Lee Forbes and Sharika Jackson. Shaquille Richardson anchored her 4x1 team to victory, another race, another gold medal. Since 2019 we all know what she's capable for. Four years later she finally fulfilled her dreams. Late in the season Shaquille won another Diamond League race in Zurich in solid 10.88 in front of Natasha Morrison and Elaine thompson Hera. After 50 meters it looked like a very close race, but Shaquille impressed again with an outstanding top speed and a strong finish. She just took another gear and dominated again to celebrate her third Diamond League win of the season. At the Diamond League final in Eugene, the 23 year old finished fourth over 100 meters in 10.80. 200 meter world champion Sharika Jackson won in a sensational time of 10.70 behind Marie Jose Talou, who equaled her season best of 10.75. Five time Olympic champion Elaine Thompson Hara made an amazing comeback after injury problems and placed third in 10.79. Elaine is the second fastest woman over 100 meters of all time. In 2021 she ran the crazy time of 10.54. We can expect a great battle against Shakari next season. Shelly and Fraser Price was also injured. If she's able to stay healthy, she can also win gold over 100 meters at the Olympic Games in Paris. Sharika improved both of her records over 100 meters and 200 meters. We all know that she's aiming for triple gold in the season 2024. Julian Alfred and Marie Jose Talou showed great results during the whole season. It's possible that both athletes are ready to medal in Paris. Before the season 2023, not many people expected that Jacquerry will have a long awaited breakthrough. To win gold over 100 meters in such a young age is very impressive. This is just the beginning of her amazing career. We can expect that she is able to win more gold medals in the following years. If you missed the video about the most impressive races of Jacquerry in her career, Click up in the right corner. Thanks for watching everyone and see you next time.